When we think about Jesus' personality, we think about gentle Jesus, meek and mild. Sometimes we can picture him as even keeled and almost effeminate because he, he never gets aggressive or bold. But that's not a biblical picture. Jesus did, in fact, get bold and even had a prophetic edge to him at times. That's abundantly clear as you read Luke chapter 20. As you go through this chapter, Jesus has confrontation after confrontation with the Jewish leaders, and sometimes it even seems that he initiates the confrontation. I want to give you one representative passage at the very end of the chapter, uh, verse 45. And in the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes, and love greetings in the marketplaces, and the best seats in the synagogues, and the places of honor at feasts, who devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive the greater con condemnation. When is the time for such prophetic boldness? If we're trying to be like Jesus, there is certainly a time for us to be bold and prophetic and almost edgy in our speaking to those around us. We should not be bold when we're trying to build ourselves up and make much of ourselves. Being offended that someone would be rude to you or being offended that someone would not give you the credit you think you deserve is not a reason to get really bold. But one reason to get bold is to defend the people of God from false doctrine. And that's what Jesus does. The scribes were leading the people of God astray, down a path that could lead to eternal ruin. And so Jesus boldly confronted them and said, this is error. And he told the people of God, don't listen to them, stay with the truth. Within your family and within your church, it is appropriate to be bold, to tell one another to stick with the truth of God's word. I hope you'll do that today. Have a great Tuesday.